But Max, let's let's put this in perspective. I mean, you're talking about what six banks plus Peugeot Renault that have benefited from, from state aid. Is that really such a big deal? You've got so many other companies benefiting from from bonuses in France. Why the outcry about these six? No, because they're systematically undermining the entire system, and they are basically created a mechanism to carve out equity and um, capital for themselves at the expense of society at large. So in the United States, unemployment is skyrocketing. The um, uninsured is skyrocketing. The uh, social fabric is, uh, is coming unglued. You have riots all over the world uh, in Iceland in other countries due to this what I call financial terrorism that was premeditated on purpose and should be addressed as such. There's a double standard. Why is the U.S. pursuing so-called terrorists in, in nations like Afghanistan uh, when they let these guys roam free on Wall Street? Okay. They're the worst I, criminals of all. They do more damage. Let's let's leave Afghanistan out of this. Um, uh, but why? It's a great source of poppy and heroin, which fuels a lot of these bankers' bonuses. Let's be frank about that. But uh, Pascal, um, what uh, w w isn't the the real problem? Though, is, is the state aid? I mean, you you've been talking yeah, about no. incentives. Uh, you know that you've basically said you know that options are uh, gives incentives to top CEOs, but it's the state aid that's the problem, as we've seen with the Natixis story today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the problem is that we have state aid, and there is a sort of vicious circle because the state or the monetary authorities are disturbing the financial system, and after that they come and they say we are the only one to, to be able to save it. So we we come and we, we give money, and normally, normally it would ought to be the, the capital market who, uh, to to bring money to the, to the, to the financial firms uh, which have uh, some difficulties. Uh, so. All the system is completely uh, disturbed by, by that. And now the state comes and says, uh, as we are putting money, quite often it is vague. Are they buying uh, securities or are they lending money? And so all this is mixed. It's, it's an important point. We shouldn't say that the French government is banning uh, uh, exactly bonuses so. because it said it, Claude Guillaume was actually quite nuanced, wasn't it? Exactly he said so. we're, we're creating the conditions where they could be. Uh, capped or, yeah, because or, or uh, if ended. the state was to, to buy shares, it would have to, to act as a regular uh, shareholder and decide what, uh, what ought to be the bonuses, uh, uh, the stock option and so on. But it's not the case. And so uh, let us just take again the, the, the case of Natixis. Natixis had a, a, a great deficit and uh, the government came and put some money. And now uh, the government says uh, it is unfair that there are b bonuses uh, distributed in uh, at that exists. I say, why is that? If it is in a difficult position, it has to have the best people uh, to trade on the market. And so if you don't give bonuses to the people who are working at Natixis, they will go to other financial firms, and Natixis may have more difficulties. So it is a completely uh, 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 silly <laughs> That's policy. Ludicrous. That's an See, absurd not, argument. That's like saying I no, robbed a bank, a, it's so I should be uh, given a reward to go rob another bank. You know, you're oh, rewarding crime. Why are you are you speaking are of robbery? Because you are, it is robbery. No, I'm, no, I'm sorry. You are, is robbery. You are not doing. Counterfeiting is you robbery. You are not doing. You are not doing. What is you are, fault swap. you are not doing economic analysis. You're an apologist just for financial terrorists. I'm appalled. Work. No, I cannot I'm, discuss. I'm okay, appalled. Okay, Max, Max, no, I cannot discuss with someone who is who is speaking of robbery, of corruption, and so on, without any Look, proof. Look, the people are it's right to rise case. up and to take matters into the their case. own hands. If mm. the bureaucrats and the technocrats you, are not going to be on behalf of the people, they're going to allow the bankers to systematically steal their wealth, then it's up to the people to rise up and revolt. That's been the uh, throughout the pattern throughout history. Certainly I'm here in France, they know about this. <laughs> go, go on, Pascal, go on, please. No, 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 but I cannot discuss with uh, uh, such a, a lack of economic analysis. I think that we have to, to, to see clearly what is the role of uh, uh, bonuses, of stock options, and, uh, and so on. Uh, they, have been, they have been considered as, uh, as the root of the fin financial crisis. Once more, the root is not that, it is uh, monetary policy. And there is no reason uh, to, uh, uh, to issue any law or any regulation about them. If we want an efficient economy, we, we have to accept the right incentives. And these incentives uh, have not been created uh, by some uh, uh, central uh, brain. It has been created by life because it has been experimented. And if bonuses, stock options, golden parachutes, and so on, had no role to play in business, 
they would have disappeared. Uh, but, but they shouldn't be based on state aid, though, partly. You agree with that? Uh, not based. What do you mean by not based? <laughs> uh, well, in other words, if you're a company that doesn't get any help from the government, you can give whatever money you want to your, to your top director if it's doing well. But if you're using taxpayers' money, you can't. Is that the position? As far as, far as the government uh, is playing the role of its shareholders, you know. If it, is lending, if it is lending money to a firm, it is in exactly in the same position as is any 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 any, uh, any, any lender, uh, and a lender has no uh, uh, decision power. That's it. You can just hear that the, uh, my my worthy opponent's uh, arguments crumble in, in a massive doublespeak and hyperbole, uh, resulting in nothingness. When we talk about state and state aid, who are we talking about? With the French state, the ECB? Well, they're hooked into the International Bank of Settlements, which is tied into the World Bank, which is tied into the IMF, which once again is tied into the Goldman Sachs. You know, the people in France and around Europe, they should want to be independent of the uh, bankers at Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan to have some kind of self-sufficiency and independence. But they're allowing their entire lives to be dictated to by a bunch of arbitrageur-wielding psychophants and uh, criminals who are destroying the system. So, so how, how do you achieve independence then? Well, for one thing, there should be a return to sound money. There's only one definition of sound money. It's in the Constitution of the United States. The only recognized form of money in the United States in the Constitution is gold and silver bullion. If there is a return to gold as a real money, then you have the basis for a sound economy and you get rid of a lot of the chicanery that's been going on the past 15, 20, 25 years since Reagan and Thatcher came on board and decided to completely disenfranchise an entire generation. Oh, hey, well, you may be surprised, but I should agree on that. <laughs> I, I should agree that we, we should return uh, to real money, and we are in a system of counterfeiting money. I agree with that, but once more, the, it has you been agree. Agree. It is treated uh, uh, by the state and not by, and not by the, the, the financial firms, the, 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 and not, not by banks. The, 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 the state have decided in the 20th century that they were in charge of monetary policy, and they, they have to create what they call money, but it, it is not real money. I, I do agree on that. Well, we're totally in agreement. It's not real money. Uh, the money is counterfeited. It, it, and it, to, to return to a sound economic policy, it, it, per my economic it, it, model, which, according to you, uh, my basis of economic analysis is not uh, on the same uh, level as perhaps uh, a functionary of the uh, product of the European uh, bureaucracy, but I would say that we do agree on the fact that gold bullion could in fact be the, uh, the basis of a sound economy oh, going oh, forward. On that I agree completely. Good. <laughs> Wonderful. At least one point to agree on to, to finish the debate. Um, so that's it for this face-off. Many thanks to Max Kaiser, freelance financial journalist and analyst, and Pascal Selin, professor of economics at Paris Dauphine University. Do stay with us on France 24 for news coming up and we'll be back with another.